In this video, I'm going to show you guys 10 sapphire effects that will instantly improve your edits and editing skills. Hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. So the first effect I'm going to show you guys is going to be S underscore glint. We're going to go over to effects and presets and type in S underscore glint. Put it onto our adjustment layer. Now, as you can see, the glint is part of the glow kind of family inside sapphire. Inside effects and controls, if it is too bright, you can grab the brightness and turn it down. If you want the glow to be a different color, if you go over to hue shift, you can crank this to the right. And as you can see, it starts to go through the range rainbow colors if you want the glint size to be bigger or smaller you go down to size and you can grab this and bring it to the right to make the glint a lot larger glint i usually use it as a transition so for a transition for the settings i would go to where our transition is from here i would make the brightness pretty bright for the color i'm thinking more of a blue so i'm gonna put the hue shift to zero and for threshold, we're going to be bringing this down just a tad more so you can see more of the glint. Put a keyframe on the brightness right on our transition. Open up our adjustment layer so we can see the keyframe and then go back three frames, put it to zero. Go ahead on our timeline just a tad and put this to zero. We're going to highlight those and easy, easy the keyframes. And then we're going to go into the graph and grab this top one, bring it down like that. Grab this bottom one, bring it this way. And after you've done that, you should have a really cool glint glow transition. If you're looking to save time and use all the best sapphire effects for your edits, then check out my latest editing pack that includes over 50 plus effects that you can drag and drop onto your videos to create next level edits. It includes a variety of different presets and you can find them in the link in the description. So go check them out. The next effect I'm going to show you guys is going to be S underscore glow. So we're going to type in S underscore glow, grab it and put it on our video layer. And as you can see, this is a really good soft glow to your videos. Inside the settings, I would always just play around with the brightness to bring the, you know, bring the brightness down. I would also play around with the glow width to make the width a little more so to add kind of more of a dreamy kind of like subtle glow around our subject. And if we play it back, now we have this really cool, soft, dreamy glow that you guys can add to your next video. The next effect I'm going to show you guys is going to be Suedo Color. Grab Suedo Color and put that on our video. I'm going to be showing you guys a couple extra spices that you guys can add to this to make this really, really cool. But right off the bat, if you go over to Frequency and if you turn up the Frequency, as you can see, it kind of adds in more frequency of the colors. From here, we're going to go up to Effects and Presets. And another sauce you can add to this is what we just talked about is S underscore Glow. Grab the glow put it onto our layer and we're gonna go over to the brightness and we're gonna turn this up quite a bit and go down to the glow width and turn this up quite a bit if we go up to suede up color and we click on the stopwatch for hue shift and open up our video and we go ahead in the timeline and crank the hue shift now when you play it the colors are now shifting as the video is going i highly recommend adding these effects to cutouts to get this really really cool rainbow effect now this next one is probably the most popular sapphire effect there is but it's going to be s underscore shake i'm going to show you the sauce though we're going to add s underscore shake to our layer now the first effect i'm going to show you guys is a really subtle camera shake that i use in almost all my videos over in settings we're going to go to the amplitude and put this to 0.4 we're going to change the frequency to 1.8 we're gonna turn on motion blur. Next on the X shake, we're gonna go to the X random amplitude and we're gonna change this to 72. Next go down to Y shake and on the Y random amplitude, we're gonna change this to 36. Next we're gonna go down to tilt shake and we're gonna click on the random amplitude and put this to five. Type in motion tile, put that motion tile on our video, change the output width to 200 and the output height to 200 and click on mirror edges. Next, put the motion tile above the S shake and as you can see, the edges go away now. S shake is probably one of the most popular effects because it is so universal. And now I'm gonna be showing you guys a shake impact with S underscore shake. We're gonna go to amplitude and put this to 1.5 change the frequency to 13 next we're gonna scroll down to y shake and open this up and go to the random amplitude and put this to 650 we're gonna go down to tilt shake and click on this and put this to 35 also go up to motion blur and turn on motion blur now to animate this as a shake impact we're first we're gonna do the same thing and we're gonna put a motion tile on this click on the output width 200 and the output height to 200 and click on mirror edges and put the motion tile above the layer next go down to our s shake and we're gonna be keyframing the amplitude so on the and open up our adjustment layer so we can see next we're gonna scroll back two frames and put this to zero 
go ahead in our timeline quite a bit and put this to zero also and we're going to highlight these and easy ease them and then go into our graph and all we're going to do is just make this a very easy ease out grab this one drag it down just copy what i'm doing the graph should look something like this on the transition we're going to go over to z distance and we're going to put a stopwatch right here and from here we're going to put this to 0.7 and then we're gonna go back a couple frames and put this back to one go to our end and put this to one as also and we're just gonna pretty much copy the same graph as we did for the amplitude and then go up into our graph click on this drag this one like that bring this one over like this and now if you play it back we have this really cool shake impact that you guys can add to your next video the next effect i'm gonna be showing you guys is gonna be warp chroma this effect is a very subtle rgb effect that you guys can add to almost any video that you would like in warp chroma and as you can see it pops up we're gonna grab it put it onto our video layer it is a little wonky but to change that we're gonna go over to from z distance and put this to 0 0.970 we've just added a very very subtle rgb effect to our video the next effect i'm gonna be showing you guys is s underscore rays drag that onto our video because the sun is coming from over here we want the rays to come from the source so we're gonna grab this and bring it over to the sun as you can see it it adds in really really dope rays around our subject now if you want the rays to be longer if you go over to rays length we can turn the rays up and if it is too bright we can go down to rays brightness and turn this down to about one and if you want to change the color of the rays you go down to rays color and we can change this to more of a warm type of color to kind of like be more realistic of the rays also you can use this effect on any text or 2d objects that's usually when i use them the most next effect is going to be s underscore time average and we're going to be putting this on our video and without clicking anything you get this really really cool echo effect that you guys can add to your next video s underscore blur mo curves now the premise of this effect is it lets you animate things with really really good motion blur and in my case we have this freeze frame transition right here but as you can see this is very boring and has no animation to it grab the blur mo curves and add it to our layer and in this case we're gonna have them zoom in so on the z distance we're gonna turn this value down we're gonna go all the way to three Put a keyframe there and then go down to the shift Y and turn a keyframe right there and drag them below the video. Next, we're going to open up our layer so we can see what is going on. And then we're going to go to the end and we're going to put this to zero. And then on the Z distance, we're going to put this back to one. With this motion, as you can see, it adds really, really dope motion blur to our video. Now, if we play it back, we have this animation with the motion blur. And obviously, in this case, it is a little too slow. So I'll just grab these, bring this over to there turn this like that and that's how you can use blur mo curves in your next edit you can also use it for text and 2d animations edge detect we're gonna grab that put it on our video and as you can see it adds a really really cool glowing lines all around the edges of your video if you want the edges to be a little bit more of a hard or soft you would go over to edge smooth right here and if you turn this up it makes the edges a lot more smooth you can hover over down to saturation and turn the saturation up if you want a little bit more color also with the brightness from here we're gonna be adding in a little bit more spice so we're gonna go up to effects and presets and we're gonna add in your favorite glow or in this case the one i talked about is s underscore glow we're gonna go down to glow width turn this up quite a bit and then on the brightness we're gonna turn this up quite a bit also to 2.2 now i'm gonna show you guys two different types of sauces you can add to this effect to make it even better and the first one is going to be going over and adding in hue and saturation we're going to add hue and saturation to our video if you want it to have really trippy rainbow colors we're just going to keyframe the channel range and open up our keyframes and then go to the end and we're just going to crank this all the way around to do one whole cycle and now if we play it back we get this really cool rainbow cycle effect also if you guys want to do just one color we can delete the hue and saturation and go up to effects and presets and type in tritone once you've added tritone to your video we can go over to midtones and we can change this color to any color that you would like in this case we could do red and as you can see we just have it all being red or pink time warp rgb now this effect is another subtle rgb effect that you guys can add to your videos we're gonna add this to our video and now if we play it back we get this really cool echoey rgb that you guys can add to your next video texture plasma we go to effects and presets and type in texture plasma and we're gonna add that to our video now we get this really cool colorful animated text effect you guys can play around with the noise frequency to make it more frequent you can go down to color and change the color of the glows 
add it in your favorite glow and get this really cool text effect that you guys can try out. That's a wrap on the video. If you guys want to know more secret sauces inside After Effects, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Ooh.